The Zhukov Armored Ambush update introduces new high-tier light tanks for the Soviets and the Germans, a new infantry fighting vehicle for the Soviets, and camouflage for light tanks. Other changes in this update include the addition of the powerful Nagant M1895 revolver and a new iteration of the depot map. The two new high-tier light tanks are the Soviet T-77 and the German Panzer II Ausführung L Lux. Both tanks excel in their role as fast and mobile fire support units, yet they each offer different gameplay experiences. The Soviet T-77 is a brute light tank with a well-sloped and rather thick armor, making it a hard target for enemy fire to penetrate. The tank is the quintessence of make-it-tough, make-it-work Russian tank design. Armed with a 45mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun, it is more than capable of defeating its foes. A well-angled and well-hidden T-77 will prove to be a tough nut to crack. The German Panzer II Ausführung L Lux was the last model of the Panzer II to be developed by the Germans during World War II. It is a fast and highly maneuverable tank that shines in combat against infantry and other light tanks. Compared to the already existing Panzer II, the Lux boasts a much more powerful engine, which enables it to quickly move around the battlefield and sneak into flanking positions to attack the enemy with its deadly 20mm autocannon. The Soviet recon soldier gets access to a new infantry fighting vehicle, the BA-6. This vehicle can best be described as an armored car with a Tetvatsi Schist turret slapped on top of it. It is a mobile, hard-hitting vehicle armed with a 45mm cannon and a 7.62mm Dete machine gun. Not being seen by the enemy is a crucial element in a good ambush, and camouflage is one way to achieve this. Both new tanks come with the ability to apply camouflage, the Lavrinenko two-tone pattern for the T-77 and the Ambush DB for the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux. The following existing light tanks also receive camouflage. Olive Drab and Black for the US M24 Chaffee, Ambush DB for the German Panzerkampfwagen 1 Ausführung A, Olive Drab and Black for the US M2A2 light tank, and Vasjugen Light for the Soviet T-38 Vossium model 1937. As a quick side note, the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux is available in two variants, the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux and the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux. The Panzer II Ausführung L Lux is available in two variants, the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux and the Panzer II Ausführung L Lux. As a quick side note, the appearance and handling of several vehicles have been tweaked. This includes the German R-75, which is now much more stable. But enough talk about vehicles. It is time to present the Soviet Nagant M1895 revolver. It is a 7-round revolver with the option to upgrade the ammo to the large and powerful Leonov Medved round. This makes the M1895 a distinct revolver with a high damage output potential and impressive stopping power. It is the hand cannon the Soviet soldier will love and trust when he needs a secondary weapon to fall back on. We have made changes to the newly released depot map to improve the flow of gameplay. This includes relocating the spawn areas further back and changing some of the terrain features to prevent spawn suppression. An underground tunnel system has also been added to expand the center of the map and the capture area has been opened up by creating new angles of approach. Before I leave you, I suggest you keep an eye out for posts on our news blog during December. Something interesting might happen. That's all for now. Play the game for free at heroesandgenerals.com or on Steam.